Good morning to everyone. Today we celebrate the uh, 8th of June, which is a very special day. It's the uh, Ocean Day. It's something that we are celebrating for several years because we want to draw the attention of the whole public, for everyone, on the preservation of this ocean, which is 70% uh, of the surface of our uh, planet. And this surface is at risk by the human, by the human beings, and we need to look at that. And the way we want to look at it today is to look at the preservation of one of the most beautiful animals that is living uh, off the coast here in these islands uh, of Mauritius and, and Seychelles, the sperm whales. So we're going to visit the sperm whales, we're going to see them, we're going to see the families, uh, many individuals which are living here. But all these animals are at risk that we need uh, to take uh, action. Why do we need to take these actions? We know that animals are uh, at risk of uh, disappearance uh, in the coming, uh, in the coming uh, decades if we don't take action. Already we lost 60% of the uh, species uh, that are living on the planet uh, in, in the last 50 years. So we cannot continue like that. For decades we have been referred to as small island developing states. But as islanders we prefer large ocean developing states. Because the ocean is the crux of our life. Mauritius has always been known to be the star and the key of the Indian Ocean. Ocean, island, with the largest EEZ. Our studies at, the, at, the, at this organization is to we study uh, the marine megafauna, which are whales, uh, dolphins, uh, uh, sharks and turtles. Because these big animals, they are threatened nowadays in the world. We should also note that all that, uh, all the, the things that are being thrown around on land, everything ends up in the ocean. Our ocean is under attack. Overfishing, marine pollution and global warming are all leading to its destruction. And growing up in Seychelles, I have witnessed and I have felt the impact that this is having on us. Um, as an example, in 2019, the University of Oxford and the Seychelles Island Foundation organized uh, the Aldebar Cleanup Project, where 12 of us volunteers traveled to one of the most remote islands in the Indian Ocean. And over five weeks, we collected 25 tons of marine debris. But we merely scratched the surface because it's estimated that there are 500 tons on the island itself. 500 tons? on an island that is completely uninhabited? My point is, the attack is real. We know that uh, the sperm whale has uh, diminished from uh, the beginning of the century uh, to, to when, until the, in 1986 when they stopped whaling in the Indian Ocean. Uh, we have lost about 70% uh, of our whale uh, population. They are really threatened. We, we can identify four different uh, threats. The first one is a ship strike, because the, if the young whales are being predated by uh, other animals, but the large whale, they mainly die because of accident with ships. They get entangled with nets, and uh, they die because they need to breathe and if they get entangled they, they drown. And the third one is plastic waste that are waterborne, uh, that are being brought by rivers or everything like this. Noise pollution. Noise pollution is one of the new found uh, pol uh, kind of threat that can really kill these animals. I think coronavirus has told us <laughs> that we need really to start moving and to take uh, strong action. Individuals, organizations, uh, countries, everyone has to think about it, to come together, to discuss and to take action to preserve the planet. One of the actions we can do is to limit the uh, speed of the boats, for instance, to avoid accidents. These kind of things are very practical uh, issues that we need uh, to take uh, action. In this respect, one of the main lines of the vision of the Ministry of Blue Economy, Marine Resources, Fisheries and Shipping is the conservation of the marine ecosystems. In this aspect, there are a lot of provisions made in the Fisheries and Marine Resources Act of the Republic of Mauritius to conserve and preserve the marine ecosystem. This is our mission, this is what we would like to do and we would like to participate with the government, with the Ministry of Blue Economy, with the Marine Special Planning, where we, we sit in the committee, uh, so that we can advise them on uh, 
how to develop, uh, to make development of shore so that it doesn't uh, overlap on the habitat of these uh, cetacean and animals. Today we have been around seeing the giants of the sea, the sperm whales. There are a lot of studies yet to be undertaken in the Mauritian waters. Vast oceans means also fisheries, but sustainable fisheries. As ocean activists, we are working together with government, international organizations, private sector, communities, to bring everyone together and to uh, raise awareness and inspire action and attribute value to the protection of the ocean. And we have seen movement. We are seeing progress, but we can't stop now. It is not for the future, it is today, it is now. We have to come together, me, you, islanders, non-islanders, for us to protect the Earth's blue heart for our livelihoods, for our lives, and for our survival. I want to thank uh, wholeheartedly the Ministry of um, Fisheries and, uh, and Blue Economy here in, in Mauritius, the uh, activists which have been with us uh, today, but also the NGOs who are taking a very strong role in this uh, preservation by studying the animal, by learning the language, by looking how they live, by uh, visiting them, by uh, making sure that they are not uh, endangered. Also to propose some actions because we cannot just watch and see, we need also to take action. 